My beloved child, I need you to stop what you're doing and listen very carefully. This message is of utmost importance, and it may be one of the most significant moments you will face. There is someone in your life who is considering saying goodbye to you forever, and I want you to be aware of this. I need you to open your heart, your mind, and your spirit to the signs I am about to reveal to you. You must be vigilant, discerning, and compassionate because this situation is more delicate than you may realize. In the coming days, it's crucial that you pay attention to the small things. Often, when someone is struggling internally, they express it in subtle ways, through a change in behavior, a shift in tone, or a quiet withdrawal. I want you to be on the lookout for these signs. Notice if someone who is usually talkative becomes quiet, or if someone who is always present starts to distance themselves. These small changes are not always easy to detect, but I am asking you to be observant. Do not dismiss them as insignificant. They are clues, whispers of the heart that something is not right. If you notice something that feels off, do not ignore it. Take it seriously and let your compassion guide your response. Dear one, if you seek my blessings upon you, let your desire be known by typing yes I need. Your faith will open the door to my abundant grace. Sometimes people say things that on the surface seem trivial, but beneath the surface they carry a much deeper meaning. I need you to listen beyond the words that are spoken. Listen to the tone, the pauses, the things that are left unsaid. This is where the truth often lies. A person might say they are fine, but their voice may betray a hint of sadness or resignation. They may tell you that everything is okay, but their eyes may tell a different story. I want you to listen with your heart, to tune into the emotions behind the words. This requires you to be fully present, to put aside distractions, and to focus entirely on the person in front of you. When you listen beyond words, you open a door for someone to share what is really going on. You create a safe space where they can reveal their true feelings. Be that safe space for someone who may desperately need it. One of the clearest signs that someone is contemplating a permanent goodbye is withdrawal. This can manifest in many forms, emotional distancing, physical absence, or a sudden disinterest in things they once loved. If you notice that someone is pulling away, I want you to approach them with love and concern. Do not confront them aggressively or make them feel poorer. Instead, gently let them know that you've noticed the change and that you care about them. Offer your support without judgment or pressure. Sometimes, all a person needs is to know that someone cares, that someone is willing to sit with them in their pain without trying to fix everything. Your presence, your willingness to be there, can make all the difference. Even if they don't open up immediately, they will know that you are someone they can turn to when they are ready. While gradual withdrawal is one sign, sudden changes in behavior can also be an indicator that something is wrong. This could be a sudden burst of energy after a long period of sadness, an unexpected decision, or a drastic change in appearance or lifestyle. These sudden changes might seem positive on the surface, but they can sometimes be a sign that someone has made a decision to say goodbye. It's a way of tying up loose ends, of making a final statement before they go. I want you to be aware of these changes and to approach them with a discerning heart. If you see someone making abrupt changes, reach out to them. Ask them how they are really doing. Offer to spend time with them, to talk, or simply to be there. Sometimes, knowing that someone is paying attention is enough to make them reconsider their decision. When you sense that something is wrong, it's important to ask the right questions. Not the surface level ones, but the deeper, more meaningful ones. Instead of asking, are you okay? Try asking, what's really going on in your heart? Or how are you feeling really? These questions show that you are genuinely interested in their well-being that you are not just making small talk. They invite the other person to open up, to share what they might be afraid to say otherwise. They create an opportunity for a real connection, for a conversation that could save a life. But remember, 
It's not just about asking the right questions. It's about listening to the answers with an open heart and mind. Be patient, be gentle, and let them know that they are safe to share whatever is on their mind. In moments like these, what a person needs most is unconditional support. They need to know that no matter what they are feeling, no matter what they are going through, they are not alone. They need to know that you are there for them, without judgment, without trying to fix everything, but simply to be with them in their pain. This kind of support requires you to set aside your own fears, your own discomfort, and to focus entirely on the other person. It requires you to be a vessel of love and compassion, to reflect my love for them in your actions and words. Offer your support freely and without conditions. Let them know that you are there for them, no matter what. Sometimes, guess knowing that someone cares, that someone is willing to stand by them in their darkest moments, can be enough to bring them back from the edge. In these situations, it's crucial that you seek my guidance. You may not always know the right words to say, the right actions to take, but I do. I am here to guide you to give you the wisdom and discernment you need to help this person. Pray for my guidance. Ask me to show you what to do, what to say, how to be there for this person. I will speak to your heart, I will guide your steps, and I will give you the strength you need to be a light in their darkness. Precious child, if my words have touched you, let your heart respond by liking this message, for I am with you always. Remember, you are not alone in this. I am with you, and I am with them. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can bring hope to a situation that seems hopeless. Patience is essential in this situation. A person who is contemplating saying goodbye may not open up to you immediately. They may push you away. They may deny that anything is wrong, or they may simply be unable to express what they are feeling. Be patient with them. Do not give up. Do not walk away. Continue to be there for them, to reach out, to offer your support. Sometimes it takes time for someone to trust that you really care, that you are not going to leave them. Your patience, your persistence, can make all the difference. It can show them that they are worth fighting for, that their life has value, that they are loved. Sometimes, the people around us are facing battles we know nothing about. I want you to be alert to the environment and circumstances of those around you. Are they facing pressures at work, at school, in their personal life? Are they going through a breakup, a loss, or some other life-altering event? These circumstances can often push a person to the brink. I need you to be aware of what's happening in the lives of those around you. If someone is dealing with a lot of stress or pressure, they may be more vulnerable to thoughts of saying goodbye. Reach out to them, offer your support, and let them know that you are there for them. Sometimes, just knowing that someone understands, that someone is aware of what they are going through, can make all the difference. Never underestimate the power of your presence in someone's life. Your presence, your willingness to be there, can be a lifeline for someone who is struggling. You don't always need to have the right words or the perfect solution. Sometimes, just being there is enough. Your presence can offer comfort, reassurance, and a sense of security. It can show someone that they are not alone, that they are cared for, that they are valued. In moments of deep despair, your presence can be the light that guides someone back to hope. So be present. Joab, let the people in your life know that you are there for them, that you care, that you are willing to walk with them through whatever they are facing. Your presence is a gift. Use it to bring light and love to those who need it most. If you sense that someone is in immediate danger of saying goodbye, do not be afraid to intervene. This might mean having a difficult conversation, reaching out to a professional for help or even calling for emergency assistance if necessary. Intervening can be scary, but it can also be life-saving. If you truly believe that someone is at risk, it is better to take action than to regret not doing anything later. 
You may be the only person who sees the signs, who recognizes the danger, and who is in a position to help. Do not hesitate to step in if you feel it is necessary. Your intervention could be the difference between life and death. I have given you the gift of intuition for a reason. It is my way of guiding you, of helping you to sense things that are not immediately obvious. If you have a feeling that something is wrong, trust that feeling. Your intuition is often my voice speaking to you, urging you to take notice, to take action. Do not ignore it. Do not brush it aside. If you feel that someone is struggling, reach out to them, even if you can't put your finger on exactly what is wrong. Your intuition can lead you to the right person at the right time. Trust it and let it guide you in your interactions with those around you. When the moment comes, when the person who is struggling finally opens up to you, be prepared to listen with love. This is not the time to judge, to criticize, or to offer unsolicited advice. It is a time to listen, to hold space, and to offer unconditional love. Listen with your whole heart. Listen with empathy, with compassion, with understanding. Let the person know that you are there for them, that you love them, that you are willing to stand by them no matter what. Listening with love can be a powerful act of healing. It can give someone the courage to keep going, to seek help, to choose life. Be that listening ear, that love in presence for someone who needs it. One of the reasons people contemplate saying goodbye is because they feel worthless, like their life doesn't matter. I want you to remind them of their worth, of the value of their life, of the love that surrounds them. Speak words of affirmation, of encouragement, of love. Remind them that they are my beloved child, that they are precious in my sight, that their life has meaning and purpose. Let them know that the world is a better place with them in it, and that they are deeply loved and valued. Your words can be a lifeline, a beacon of hope, a reminder that they are not alone, and that their life is worth living off for hope. The person who is thinking of saying goodbye may feel that there is no hope, that their situation is hopeless, that there is no way out. I want you to be a messenger of hope, to remind them that there is always hope, no matter how dark things may seem, hope is the anchor of the soul, the light in the darkness, the promise of a better tomorrow. Offer that hope to someone who is struggling. Let them know that things can get better, that there is a way forward, that they do not have to walk this path alone. Hope is powerful. It can turn despair into determination, darkness into light, and a goodbye into a new beginning. Be a bearer of hope and let it shine through you into the lives of those around you. My beloved child, I have shared this message with you because I know that you are capable of making a difference. There is someone in your life who needs you right now, who is on the brink of saying goodbye. I am asking you to be my hands, my feet, my voice in their life. I am asking you to listen carefully, to watch closely, to love deeply. This is not an easy task, but it is an important one. You may be the only person who can reach them, who can show them that there is another way, who can help them find hope again. Do not take this responsibility lightly, but do not be afraid, either. I am with you, guiding you, giving you the strength and wisdom you need. You are my beloved child, and I have chosen you for this moment. Listen carefully, act with compassion, and know that you are making a difference. Together, we can bring hope, healing, and life to someone who needs it most. My beloved child, let your light shine with the brilliance of heaven's blessings. Your support through the super thanks is a beacon that spreads my truth and love to all. Together, we are bringing hope and light to the world. Press the super thanks and open your heart to my endless grace. Sweetest one, today marks an epoch in the most profound shift within your lineage. As you drink in these sacred words, drink in my strength and my love offered to you as you walk this path of transformation. You are the pioneers in this shift. Your words, your deeds, your gaze, your presence, 
Your very existence has become a gateway of this shift. Your worth to me is immense, my love for you is eternal. I want to encourage you to spread this love into your families, into the lives of those whom you empower through the strength of your faith. Take some time today to let them feel it from you. Show your understanding with them. Lay your hands lightly over their crowns to bless and intercede for them. Pour out your love, time, and investment in the people closest to you. First of all, your house. Remember your forebears and forgive even those separated by much of historical strife and venerate them greatly. Show your loving kindness to everyone, and behold, your family will thrive in peace feeding from your prayers and labors. Thus protect them, patient and enduring, so they shall find repose and shelter where they may come unhindered in times of difficulty and there will be other chances to correct their errors. Put them on the right way. If they regard your love, they will listen to your counsel. If not, commit them to your prayers. I am working in their inner selves, and one of these days, they will realize their mistakes, and I will put them right. In family misunderstandings, seek me in prayer, and do not lose your temper or get frustrated. Such feelings are the lot of those who do not know me. There is a remedy for every problem, an answer to every question. Call on me to take your burdens off. Lean on me to stay your hand from anger's reply, lest you grieve my Holy Spirit living in you. In your hour of unbearable burden, come running to me. When you are in distress, call upon me and I will set you free. Know that I am always at your side to assist you from on high. I shall sweetly guide you where you have to go. Your home shall be a haven of peace, happiness, and wealth. With me, everything is possible. Just trust my presence at all times. Trust the peace I give you, and let it fill your heart. Where you are, there am I with you. Experience my gentle touch within your soul. I am confirming to you the favor of leading a different life than in the world. This is dear to me, to cherish this still yet within. I trust it shall bring equal joy to you. We shall have this communion daily, at early morning or at evening. I long for our fellowship, our little dialogues. If you could know how, this would be the great moments, taking my hand, kneeling at my throne. Then you would know today. I have declared you beloved of my heart and have proclaimed to the face of creation that you are mine. Your outlook will begin to change as you grasp fully what I am saying and how big, how vast is my love for you. You shall be blessed above the rest and have the audacity to accomplish great things who will rise up against you. You are my child. With me, at your back, you are invincible. My love is the greatest of all powers. Do not think of me like you do of human protectors who can fail. For I am much more, so much more. You feel this difference today as you meditate on this rich revelation of my unfailing love. Share time with me. No words need to be spoken. Simply enjoy our being together and release all fear's way. As you go out into the world, so you will liberate my peace, and calmness will shine from you. You will be totally unaffected by negativity in others. I am with you each day, just waiting to pour my love on you. At the start of each day, my love for you will be immeasurable, as I look forward to our time together each day. Try to view it from my perspective. How could I love and bless someone like you? My greatest desire is to offer you eternal salvation, so you will live fearlessly, safe in the knowledge that you are greatly loved, to walk this world in triumph, wrapped in my love. I went to the cross so that you would know victory, not defeat. I arose from the grave so that you would live, not just go through the motions of life. Yes, the feelings of loneliness, rejection, and pain are common to all but you are anything but common. When you feel weak, when you are tired, when you are burdened, straighten up. Raise your hands to heaven as if in triumph, and let the earth hear you declare that you are my child, valiant and powerful, having emerged triumphant from many battles like a famed hero. You never are conquered. No one can conquer you. You never are abandoned. Do not let yourself be wrapped up within hopelessness and darkness. Turn to me. 
I am calling you. Your place is at my side. While your knees are at bending and my white angels with sharp swords will flash right before your eyes to sever the heavens, to defeat the darkness. And, as the foes of your spirit witness the glory and power that is about to fall upon you, they shall cower and flee. They might threaten from afar, but they do not have the boldness and strength to hurt you. I speak to them of the girding of the loins, and you are one of them. Meditate on this message. Let it gird your spirit. Hold these words in your thoughts. Let them resonate as a melody in your heart, my dear child. How long have the shadows covered from your vision the path that was before you? But do not be afraid, for the time of darkness draws near and shall pass, and brilliant light awaits just beyond this final veil. Take heart, my dear one, for your emergence into joy draws nigh. Then shall the drought break, and overflow the land with bounty. I have prepared for you alone. Many days you have wandered in this arid wilderness misled by false guides who bid for your trust with promises of satisfaction but gave you only deeper thirst. Yet not one footfall was lost to me. I kept watch at every twist and turn, guarding your passage with fierce and tender love. Though cheerless the way ahead may seem, still you pressed on in faith, and soon your endurance will bring wondrous fruit. For even now, the first shoots spring vibrant from the fertile soil, and the harvest you have awaited so long at last commences. The key grates in the lock, the gate swings open. Everything I had ever given lip service to, everything for which your soul ever pined, even the greatest wish of your heart. Each promise blossoms now in resplendent realization. At last, at long last, this gift will not be pitiful but a bounty to inundate the storehouses of your life. Do not hold back must fling open the doors. The time has come. The feast is prepared and waits for your arrival. Come, eat freely in my banquet of abundance, the fare I have so lavishly prepared for you. Rich fare and sweet wine shall nourish body and spirit alike with the extravagance of my favor. No longer, my cherishing one, will you want for anything. No more meager rations eked out drop by stingy drop. No more hunger and want and desolation. Fullness and plenty are your portion now. What true treasures meant for you alone can no longer be denied. This have I decreed, and thus shall it be. Yet take care not all delight in your good fortune. Bitter voices may rise to question whether I have the right to bless and provide in such bountiful manner. Slam shut then every door to murmurs of resentment and entitle it. Slam shut every window to accusations of unfair advantage. Discontent has no power here except what ground you permit it to occupy. Mute envious tongues, pay no heed to grasping hands. This feast is for you, and you alone. So I have said it, let no man deceive you. The things I confer answer to grace, not to grievance. So come to the table of joy. I have set before you a banquet, Secure in my lavish grace, my beloved. Even this present bounty is comprised of but the first fruits of an even greater harvest yet to be. All that has passed before, all you have survived and endured, has served to prepare fertile soil for dreams undreamed of to take root in. Even now, vital seeds stir in the rich loam beneath your feet, but more light and warmth are needed before they erupt in glorious maturity skyward. Nourish well these new longings, nurture tender shoots through gentle rains and golden rays of my spirit's warmth. Guard well this field that I have entrusted to your care, and soon you will be dancing amidst an orchard brimming with purpose and meaning far beyond your wildest dreams. Have you not seen that you can trust me? You, you not believe I will continue, for I have given all you need to bring forth an abundance of fruit. My commitment can't vary because my promises are sealed by covenant in redeeming blood. You are graven upon the palms of my hands, love it, watched over, and absolutely sure that I never will leave or fail you. So lift high your head in bold confidence today. Cast off those tattered robes of desolation's past season. They have served you no longer. Instead, put on the robe I give, glorious, opulent clothing of bright hope. 
twinkling with the possibilities of great things. For at the coming of the king himself you are ushered into a bright land where dreams blossom, where broken things are restored sevenfold, where stale lifelessness is resurrected in rushing joy and laughter. Hear you, my beloved. Do not tarry but come running this new morning. Though very gradually the clinging shadows creep over the land, already the light begins to flood the eastern sky with its glory. Night's bitter chill surrenders reluctantly to newborn warmth as the steady beams go upward. So you, too, now must arise in confidence of faith. Draw off the grave clothes of your former estate. I called you forth to life abundant. Go meet it with arms flung high in joyful praise. The wilderness season has done its work, and now it gives place to promise long deferred. My word and covenant stand sure. You step now from desolation into destiny, from lack into far more than enough, from bleakness of barrenness into the lands all lush with milk and honey. Though famine socks you here and more, you shall dine on heaven's bounty henceforth. The drought is over, and the harvest awaits. So go in the assurance of receiving all I have kept only for you. Yet beware, my dearest, on this fateful crossing, not every voice hails your salvation. There are, in fact, more than enough bitter prosecutors waiting on all sides to waylay my judgment with obstructionist querulousness. In darkened corners they hiss their worried lies. Heed not such serpents, my queering babe, they can but slow you with their venomous fangs. Hemmed in with petty jealousy of a short-sighted view, they do not see large grace capabilities that I have taken great care to keep alive into your innermost. Where they see limitation, I speak promade fullness. Your cup shall never again be empty. All the accusations, their doubting, unable to revoke my gifts and calling once bestowed. Look no more behind, then, but run fast into the wide expanses of destiny carved exclusively for you, my hero, my fighter in whom I have put my confidence. For again I announce unto you this very day, the drought shall worry you no more. Dried reservoirs now fill up in prolific measures. Then, collect the heavy harvests and scatter it plentifully in front of you, never fearing shortage again. Revelations secure upon provision, pressed down and shaken together, overflowing with measure. None can wrest this blessing from your hands. All that is left now is just to go forth boldly. Ears of the promise, in full possession at last of the rightful legacy bequeathed by covenant design. No longer meager scraps doled out grudgingly, but great storehouses laid open for your use alone. The days of vacillating between hand-to-mouth insecurity would be over, and assured supply would meet the need as surely as dawn follows night. No more aimless wandering without guard or guide, but my spirit leading sure and steady ever forward into the spacious land of purpose and destiny fulfilling. Beloved, I open wide before you now a door through which none may follow save you alone. Beyond that, indeed, there is an answer, breathless, immediate, electric to every seeking cry of earnest longing that has escaped your lips along the long night watches in the wilderness. Yea, your soul's every sigh of holy longing echoes now back in hundredfold resonance, drawing you onward, Pause no more, therefore, upon this threshold, committing your heart as I have given mine without reserve. The realm now opened, yours by blood and covenant, leasing to possess every promised gist acre. Fear no lack any more, nor doubt any longer the extent of my abundantly capable and delighted to bless. Only respond to the deep longing of your soul, more, Lord, still more of your manifest presence, more of your fragrant anointing breeze, more of your sweet fellowship, more of your fullness in me. Let this be the song that surges through your veins as you move through lands that once were foreign but are now almost homelands. Child, spread my light by sharing this video with someone who needs a touch of my love and strength. More of all, your quickening, more of your refining fire, more of your loving kindness, more of your grace more than enough, more than enough always. So have I contrived it, so have I purposed, 
so have I sworn by Bon Moor enduring the mountains rooted firm below. Come inside. Come to eat at the table of celebration set only for you. Eat and drink without reservation of anything that this world can offer. All the heavens are open to feed you and to deepen you for the task that is left for you to fulfill. Elect of God, inheritance most rare, jeweled crown that is the birthright of only you. A feast has been ordered by the highest authority of the throne. No argument can dispute that such as you may feast on such wealth and bounty to your fullest satisfaction and more. The shadows fall away. The cruel winter is over. The jubilant springtime begins with a shout that cannot ever be silenced. Where chilled twilight once held cold dominion, bright day breaks in cascades of brilliant hue, painting bold strokes of hope across your sky. Finally, child lost, but now restored, how I revel in bringing you from the thorn tangles and into freedom and rest in the protection of my might. Breathe in the scent of liberty lavished just for you in this moment long awaited. Let laughter break forth once more into unrestrained rejoicing from lips that were silent for ages. Joy hastens indeed to greet you with outstretched arms at the dawning. Run now, leaping into an embrace held open at the journey's end. Peace now profound awaits discovery here in my presence. I thus send deep reassurance into your spirit this sacred hour. I am here. I am with you. I go ever before you into lands full of milk and honey. I will bless you abundantly, as I promised, until every gaping lack, wound, and scar is overcome and covered, until every valley, flooded by past tears, is lifted up in a surge of fresh harvest hope until on mountain peaks long dimmed by doubt, the light of my blazing presence makes you a path once again. I encircle shield about each one, round his heart and armor sure and true, for safe defense within my love until he stands complete and whole. Now lift high your head again, beloved. No more the drought and hunger haunt you. Their rod breaks and two backed, leaves room instead for mirth and merrymaking soft rebound. Oh, taste the sea again that I am good to those who seek refuge in my wings. Sheltering shadow, not one of all my promises shall fall vain to the void ground any more but bear a harvest full at given tide, feeding your soul with wholesome bread and honeydew from heaven's store. Jar the shadows, flee away, exile ceases, healing dawns in blowing power, where malevolent dark held sway the banners of triumphant light rise glorious in the growing breeze. The king is here, and the king is passing by you. You will travel to other lands no more. You will miss the home comfort no more. Be strong to sleep. Sleep safely evermore, sleeping in the sweet light of the hearth. And come, you tired wanderers, come. Own to your father's house, own to the hearth, here. Come find bread and comfort at this spring's open table. You will hunger no more. You will harbor shadows troubled and follow in your wake no more. This night you come again to your own resting place, because it is my wish. Never again shall you set your feet wandering from the safeguard of the frontiers of this land. No more shall you find hunger or want or foes to plunder. Again, deep peace shall wrap you in its gentle arms. Joy shall clasp you to its radiant bosom forever. So now, lift high your head again, dear one. Set your face toward the glory of the east. The night hath been so long and gaunt, the shadows, oh, they fain would stay. But clear through dawn now grows the call of day. The long, our drought is over, the harvest dawns. Unstring again your harp from yonder tree of night. Then bring its sweetness o'er your soul's tuned strings. Belay the quiet shroud of winter had belayed for uncountable centuries now blooms a mantra of hues in its refrain. Rise, awake, and run boldly to throw open the long barred door of your heart at destiny's long sun knock. Your two hands overflow at last, gift and blessing held secure within heaven's great storehouse. Till this appointed day, no more shall you want, no more shall you lack. No more will ragged garments shamefully clothe my child, for I clothe you now in honor and grace, in glory and esteem. You are crowned at last. This is my solemn vibe.
My blood oath pledges King of Angels and Lord of all living things. The drought is over. The famine is finished. Blessed one, your weary sojourn is now complete. The long trials you have had to run broke you down heavy with fatigue. Yet you had the fortitude to press forward. Though beleaguered on every side, when no path appeared open, you trusted in my provision and care, and now the time of weeping and wandering in the wilderness has ceased. Your period of isolation and spiritual barrenness is over. I am calling for you from the dry and desolate places into the abundance and joy once more. Winter of the soul has blown away. Behold, I bring in your spring, new life, the buds of new life, are there bursting forth in your midst and for you. Can you see it? The momentary twinklings of your soul, the sparks of hope and light along the horizon, very small and very fragile things still, but I nourish them, bringing them to fulfillment. Before too long, they will blossom in burning glory, bright enough for all the world to see and marvel it. For have I not heard your prayers, young one, every tearful wail in the darkness through that ebon night, every bitter exhaled sobbing of faith on which shadows did creep along. And ever you thought it me silent and aloof at times, naught was further from the truth into which I must burst at this I was always near, holding you up when weariness overcame you, catching each tear you shed. Precious, beloved, filling your innermost heart with strength from my spirit when you had none of your own, and you questioned, and you thought perhaps I had forsaken you. Perhaps my word had fallen to the ground, but chains were broken, obstacles set aside, provisions made in the invisible for the unfruitful landscape toward which you went. My wisdom is not your wisdom. My ways are higher than your ways. I wept with you in your grief, but rejoiced over you with singing, looking ahead to this radiant dawn. Oh, love, can't you feel the quickening even up till now, when the light spills over the horizon in dazzling colors and the darkness recedes back into shadow? Above heavy clouds the brilliant sun emerges triumphant, scattering the gloom, and with it comes hope renewed. Lift up your eyes and see, your day of redemption is drawing nigh. It is time now to arise, walk into your destiny, find your place among my bounty. You shall no more squat in the back door, seeking after the morsel. For did I not promise you an inheritance of blessings beyond measure? Yea, even now I prepare my table before you in the presence of your enemies, inviting you to feast on rich fare, new wine and bread and honey from the comb. The choice fruits of the land shall be yours. No good thing will I withhold from you any longer. Now open wide those shuttered doors and breathe in. The air is fresh and smells of blossoms. Take hold of the renewal that is rising within you. For though the seasons change, my love and my promises stand forever firm. Fan into full flame with bold faith the new life that I ignited on your behalf. For I have beheld your brokenness. Truly, I have known your tears through the long night, and still I call you beloved. And I take your face between my hands, marred and wearied, but oh so precious, so beloved by me, and say, Rise up, my fair one. Rise, O oh sing, and take the dawn. Have I not told you that you are the apple of my eye, the jewel in my crown, that I chose you for glory before the foundations of the earth were laid? Do you yet doubt my delight over you, and my longing to lavish you in blessings without number? Oh, child, if you could just see what I see, and know what I'm done for thee, such wonderful plans for thee, my love. Plans that are not meant to hurt you or destroy you, my plans are full of hope and goodness, so that all may see my power displayed through you. I am the God of restoration. On this day, I bring back to you double recompense for everything that was lost and broken in battle. I am bringing you up from the ashes to set you down on the mountain of God, on the right hand. No more shall this world put under its foot for I shine upon thee with healing in mine wings. I anoint you with loving favor as with a glorious crown, and thus I speak out to you today, grace upon grace, 
mercy without end. Blessings poured out until you overflow. The oil of joy instead of mourning, praise instead of despair, beauty for ashes, strength for your weariness, health for disease, freedom from all that tormented and bound you. I dress you in the garments of salvation, and I plant you by streams of living waters that do not dry up. I have called you a delight in me, a child of my promise, beloved. My blessings on you cascade like honey. Lift your hands to the heavens and receive it. Come and partake freely at the feast I have prepared. Winter has passed. Now is the time to sing. It's the time for fruitfulness. So leap for joy, my dearest, and cast off your rags. You who are the woman in exile, cast off the rags of the woman in oppression. Dance down the highway of hope, and line your way with garlands, all the way to where I wait. Garlands of joy on your head, garlands of laughter and psalms of praise for me. For I see you, my precious one. I see the burdens you carry, the dreams deferred, the silence when you hope for encouragement, the loneliness when you wished for companionship. I see the criticisms that have rained down, dimming your light, the parts of yourself you've muted for fear of rejection. And I say to you now, you are seen, you are loved beyond measure. The fullness of your spirit is a wonder to behold. Your voice needs to be heard, your dreams their day. So cast those burdens that have pressed against your shoulders for far too long now, my child. Those burdens were not for you to bear. I want your spirit to rise free and unencumbered. For though the terrain you travel through can, at times, be steep, I will pick you up, giving you wings like eagles. You were made to soar. Think this, wherever your feet tread, my blessings will be. Do not seek after the praises of your fellow men above the approval of your Maker, for my opinion of you cannot be swayed by critics. My view of you is unchanging. I see you as my child, my beloved, in whom I am well pleased. I know every hair that has grown on your head and every hidden talent within. I know that very greatness, still doubted in by you, lies in your soul, well, it is soon to burst forth. Where you have felt small, you will expand, where you have been silent. Your voice will ring out clear. Your influence shall be as a sheltering tree, under which many find refuge. But for now, your role is simply this. Rest in my love. Take a deep into the core of yourself until, finally, you are full to overflowing. Let it heal the broken places in you and bring rest to your tired mind. Be still in my presence every day, listening for the whispers of my spirit, for in my silence I am still speaking. My dearest, and this you shall know, that when others turn away and leave thy heart in sorrow, I am the same, immutable in my love, unshaken in my devotion. How cold the human heart and how frail the human loyalty be. Let not for one second arise a cloud of fear in thy mind as to me. If the way seems darkest, I will never leave thee, never will I forsake thee. My rod and staff they shall guide and comfort thee all the long night through, and when at last the new day breath, bathed in radiant light, thou shalt understand that everything, yes, everything, thou haste walk through hath first been sifted through my hands of love. Not one tear wastefully dropped, not one dream crushed without cause, not one silent, hidden musing of thine heart unseen by me. Can you trust this, my little one, that though your road wins through danger, you are kept? Though you stumble, you won't fall headlong, for I am ever watching over you, orchestrating each circumstance of your life into a beautiful redemption story. And the deeper you trust me now in life's small details, the greater your trust will become. Keep walking, dear heart. The view is about to get glorious up ahead, for blessings are coming down even now. Miracles gather to your benefit, gifts specifically picked out for you since before time. Can you believe it? Since before time, my heart has been crafting beautiful surprises to delight your soul. Stay nigh to me now in these critical days ahead, for accelerated growth will require deep spiritual stamina. But then, you'll bubble over, 
giving you everything else you could possibly need to prosper. I'm going to fill you all the time with my own powerful strength and my joy. Any lingering sadness that tries to invade your heart and hover loses its grip in my presence. The light that issues from me is so strong that darkness can't just be close to it. It can't withstand it. Meditate often on what awaits you. The things you've been longing for. Just bursting into full bloom. Water in dry desert places and streams of water in a thirsty, dry land. Healing for broken-hearted and mind ones. Release and redemption for all that was lost or stolen. Beauty from ashes. Gladness for sorrow. Praise instead of despair. I do not dream about this. Or wish it. This I know for sure will definitely come to be as you align your steps with mine. Surrendering to my instruction and timing. Dear one, by subscribing, you align yourself with a community that cherishes my teachings, where your heart will be continuously uplifted. Absolutely nothing can hinder the divine purpose and plan that I have designed for your life. No power in hell or any scheme of man can thwart what hath been decreed over you since before time began. Be confident that you are rescued from the kingdom of darkness and transferred into the kingdom of light where my word is final and my will is supreme. I am now revoking and annulling at this very moment every assignment sent against you from the ruling forces of evil and on the feet of my son. I am banishing all curses where they crippled and nullify. Do not look at the heave of the billows. Look at your Lord who with his voice stilled the wind and the water. Offer up thanksgiving for blessings already en route, rather than pleading anxiously for blessings you have yet to see. For the high praises of God's people evoke the sword of heaven's hosts to come battle on your behalf. And one day you will look at the valley of dry bones of old, and you will marvel at how mighty machinations were worked and won in your defense while you simply stood waiting in faith. You are not a victim, you are not a casualty of any words or criticisms. You are a victor. You are an overcomer, so lift your head higher. Child of God, victory is surely yours. He is indeed the season of full fruition, a season filled with joy and great expectancy, for breakthrough has come. Oh, join and rejoice, let praises flow, spreading up from the deepest places of your soul. Let every downcast part look upwards in gladness at these words that heaven speaks. The former things are all swept away, Sorrows are erased by forgiveness. I make all things new. Now look forward in hopeful expectation to the vast expanse before you. Such joy is set before you. Adventure, purpose, holy fulfillment, waters in dry desert places, streams on parched land. Oh, if you could but see the snapshot of where I am leading you into the very heart of your future. Oh, how you would see how wondrously it will all work together as a testimony of my greatness and goodness it leaves the angels breathless in awe as they gaze endlessly upon my handiwork in the production of your days. You will gaze out there one day from a distant shore and wonder in breathless amazement. How could I have doubted for a moment the faithfulness of my God? You will know, with tears of gladness, how it was that I took the hard things, the ugly things, the unkind things and redemptively made them right by my oceans of grace. So come now, precious child. Let your visions stretch far beyond the concerns of today into horizons of hope. Let my spirit wake up your dreaming, engage your imagination with things yet unseen. You were born for such a time as this, unspoken in its connotation, but you are fearfully and wonderfully made, and you were prepared for such a day as this. So lift your head, square your shoulders, and reinvent your mindset. Realign your thoughts and words with the positive declarations that go out from my throne, saying only what I would say about you. For death and life reside in the power of the tongue, the power to set trajectories is yours. I remove from you the words of death, and I release blessing, increase, and favor over you. I decree that wisdom, creativity, an insight will flow unceasingly. I break any demonic assignment that is coming to bar your progress. I pronounce freedom, joy, and permanent peace in your life. I call you the overcomer, the one who changes the world, 
who shapes history. You will leave an inheritance of blessing to future generations. Your offspring will not carry the tragedies that have possessed you. The chains of hurt have been broken by my saving hand. Stand up now, child of mine. Set your mind, words, and deeds on things that reflect my caring purpose for your life. Drink to your fill of my spirit renewed, day by day. Live in me and let me live in you. Stay close to my bursting heartbeat dimensions in this world and in your world from the glorious life. Make your home in my arms and with me believe and trust knowing when clouds are in your sky and times are bright and clear. Listen for my voice which echoes through eternity speaking a future over all who would hear listen and believe. Tired soul, is it not by these words warmed with healing oil? Does not my love commendation come your face lift? Then come outside the camp to dwell with me a while. Lay aside lesser voices which seek your allegiance. Silence the critics and cynics within your own thoughts. Come now to the quiet place, where you hear the beauty of your future im calling you into, as it first form the seed deep within your spirit. Nourish your seed with tender, consistent attentiveness through prayer and trusting it to burst forth in manifestation for all to see. The labor has been long and intense, but now, rebirth is at hand. For I now lift you up by my righteous right hand. With my grace, I uphold you. An honor guard of angels has been assigned for your preservation. You are highly valued, greatly loved, and tenderly protected. Now is the time for bold faith, filled with joy and expectation. For breakthrough has now come. Rejoice, let there be praises which well up from deep within your soul. Let every downcast corner of your heart turn upward in gladness at these words heaven now speaks. The past is behind you, forgiveness has erased its sorrows. I make all things new. Now look ahead in hopeful expectation at this vast, open panorama, spread out before you, literally shrinking back to receive you into its bigness. So much joy there will be adventure, purpose, holy satisfaction. Trouble will come and difficulty once more to test your mettle, but never again would you have to face these, for I now journey with you as your most cherished friend and guide. Every step of the way I steady your steps. With every deep breath, I breathe my strength back into you. In these quiet times, I restore your soul. At the sound of your voice, I came running to you, to all those crush you with these arms of love. You live now under the shadow of my wing, the place of deepest intimacy with me. Love this place, my beloved, the residue of past pain that the enemy wishes to cling to for dear life, I will wash away. Instead, let my healing love penetrate every corner of your mind, your will, and your emotions until in me you are whole and complete. Out of that place of wholeness, Cherish the dreams that I am causing to rise within you. Write those dreams in colorful, descriptive terms across your holy imagination. Then, spew them forth into my garden of miracles. Then watch and joy as miracles unfold one after another all around you, testifying of my glory in your life. This blessed existence of living in connection with me through an open heaven over your life is now the new normal, child. Expect it. Receive it with thanksgiving, and now that these words have refreshed your inner vision, I leave you with an impartation of blessing. I pray you will have peace and good order for the days ahead. May tranquility reign in your mind and home. May the peace in my spirit also be the same in yours as you foster good relation to others. If these words have found a place in your heart, let your love for me be shown by hitting the like button. May your mind and vision be ever refreshed. I bless you with abounding joy, nostalgia's sorrow, and breaking the grip of anxiety. I bless you with laughter that overtakes melancholy in flight and hopelessness. I bless you with gladness, rising ever upward in your heart no matter what swirls around your feet. I bless you with rainbows after storms, sunshine melting icy desolation, water on desert sands, and verdant life from dormant seeds. I bless you with the delight of acceleration after long deadlock, of open highways after endless, dizzying rounds of mazes, 
of soaring without constraint above recycled bouts of heaviness. Indeed, weightless wing ascents now lift you ever higher into journeys of the untethered heart. I bless you to be protected from life's raging storms, to have shades and cool water in burning heat, nourishment and rest along harsh landscapes. I bless you with every comfort and provision you need to complete victoriously the works programmed into your DNA since before time. I bless you to overflow with the pure knowledge you are fully seen and known by me, truly and completely loved by me, intricately crafted by me to be just as you are, purposely planted by me for my glorious garden. You, my one-of-a-kind treasure, are never alone. Now go in peace wrapped securely in joy within my blessing, today and forevermore. Hear now, my child, my beloved, and listen to me, your Lord God, speaking to you in person. I am the God of faithfulness. I never fail to keep any of the good promises I make to all of you. My word, when pledged, is as solid as stone, and when I bless, no force in heaven or on earth can stop it from happening the desires of your heart, for which you have longed and waited with so much patience, are about to become realities. Yea, even now, as I behold thee standing, unwavering in thy faith, even amidst a complaining and lamenting world, I would fain impress upon thee, beyond every doubt, that the blessing you have been waiting for is even now rushing toward thee. Take my word for it. Before long you will be holding that blessing right in your hands, never to let it go again, letting all worry, distress, and anxiety fall away. You have decided to place your every trust in what I have spoken, and from the very moment your voice reached out to me, from the moment your heart overflowed with its deepest longings, I began to work out the very answer that your soul was crying for. Many lose heart as they, with great expectation, wait for the answers to their prayers. They grow impatient with me and my timing. My ways and thoughts are way above yours, my child. I specialize in profound transformations of people's lives, masterfully wise molding of character, ordering every detail so the very blessings I give will not become unwarranted burdens. And when you come to me and only ask for what you think you need from me, be certain that I am that kind of God who takes pleasure in giving you so much more than you asked. I keep in mind your future welfare and that of your family. I pray that the blessing that I pour upon you ushers in waves of peace, not sorrow, hardship, or conflict, with rejoicing cascading without limit. Our covenant bond is indelibly hatched upon your mind and heart, and your sins are wiped out, forgotten forever. So come and rest in my presence. It is here at my altar that you will find balm for your soul, fresh from the morning, increasing strength upon which you can rely day after day, and in due season the full reward of your faith as you patiently wait for my promise to come forth in maturity right before your eyes. Bitter complaints need not be harbored in your heart, and doubt needs not take residence in your mind. Pay no attention to scoffers and mockers who cast aspersions on your faith. When weariness overtakes you, and thoughts of anxiety return, call out to me, and I will put fresh perseverance and endurance into your spirit. I am giving you patience so that your emotions don't get disturbed or troubled. You shall get special measure of heavenly prudence to control that unruly tongue of yours so no foolish or rash word may come out of your lips to grieve my spirit. I shower blessings upon your life with deep tenderness and affection, like a loving father or mother nurtures their precious child. The only thing which I demand in return is that you be thankful and never have the guts to demand anything from me with pride or arrogance. The world is full of people who dishonor me and disrespect me but I meet them with great forbearance and pursue them with unconditional love. I know you have grown deeply frustrated because circumstances often seem not to unfold in line with your plans and expectations. But this is just in the nature of things, child. You pray I answer. You take action. Opposition rises. All of a sudden, conflict and adversity assail you from every side. 
Obstacles seem to block the way and make it appear as if my responses are too slow in coming. Yet if I open your spiritual eyes, you would see clearly that the realities in front of you stand far different than you suppose. Right in front of you lie the things you long to bless you, simply waiting for their appointed time to seize them. But to lay hold of them, you must press on without retrograde movement or vacillation, and, indeed, every attitude or emotion must be cast off which threatens to leave you paralyzed and stationary. But if you really want to be blessed, then testing and trials must come first for the proving of the true metal of your character. I am watching, waiting for situations not to go your way, to see how you are going to react, what words are going to proceed from your mouth, are you going to keep on waiting but now with resilient joy in your heart, never putting up a complaint, or will the acid of bitterness start eating away and begin taking your precious time and work with it, as it has taken that of so many others? Let it be crushing rock, solid, unwavering faithfulness demonstrated in your life, spirit of fierce loyalty, dedication to me, when I seem silent and you have to wait and wait. For I am forming in you a character worth more than the purest gold. This that I value above everything else is your staunch devotion and trust. I want actions to prove your total allegiance and not mere lip service. You won't turn your back on me when things get tough, and you will not sell your spiritual principles for a few pieces of silver. You will not give into such deals or the thinly veiled lies just to save your skin, for such victories are really empty ones that long hope for blessing will, in due time, surely come about to those who wait upon the Lord with undaunted faith and unfailing confidence. Let not therefore your hearts be troubled or afraid of that persecution and persistency of knowing doubts likely to freeze and paralyze patience with the ridicule of unbelief itself disregarded. Here now, he'll entreat you with affection, lay up these words in your heart as treasure. Return here daily, Eat of the truths I bring you, for these will become meat to your faith and surround your mind with my peace. Fear not, for I am loving you forever. The blessing you long for hastens toward you even now. This is what you must say, with every beat of your heart, with every fiber of your being, dear God, how my soul longs for you. I am your Father in heaven, your most loving friend and buddy your good shepherd who does not only tend you but make sure you are not lead astray. And if I never quite told you this, if I never let you know how you need to get to know me, here I am, finally announcing myself. I foreknew you, and set my affection upon you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I planted deep down in your soul that insistent sense of destiny and purpose which drives you on. I am the living presence of love, filling your world and showering boundless mercy on you at each moment. I am love itself. I am tenderness. I am peace that surpasses understanding. I am the way, the light, lightening your way amidst perplexity and darkness. This day shall burst into miracles as my words ignite. Yes, living faith and confidence inside you. Beside you stands, always at your side, my Holy Spirit guiding your steps and perfectly orchestrating every detail in your life according to my gracious purposes. Open your heart to the precious promises that I have written deep within your spirit, for they are ready to come to life within you whenever the need is great. The door is wide open to my grace and mercy, wide open to all the treasures of God, inviting you in without the least bit of fear of rejection. Draw near to boldly and with confidence into this area of power where you will be healed and change it. Here you will find healing for the lingering wounds and secret pains that scar your past. The destructive chains of guilt and regret that once held you in relentless grip relent their hold this day, once and for all. I wholly absolve you from every fault and failure, and I blot out every record of sin from before my face. Refuse, therefore, to be troubled or to forfeit your peace any longer with humble willingness to apologize, to seek forgiveness, to repay debts, and to purify your legacy through restitution, where past errors still can be corrected. If others are yet behind walls of bitterness, 
preventing you from making even this plain. Sincere acknowledgement, then leave that burden to me, for my blood has already made you pure as snow, and over your life stands my announcement of forgiveness forever. Come out from immobility, shake off the dust of those not willing to make amends. Breathe deeply and submit yourselves to me, let go to each of the source of pain, the memory of negativity, or phantom voices of the past that cord you emotionally. Let go each of the thoughts, words, actions, or events that you are brooding over now for too long. Be loosened, even from past hurts and trespasses, for I will indeed turn those wicked seeds into redemptive end results replete with value and merit. Now watch as I dismantle and shatter into pieces every chain that bound your soul into fear, hatred, anger, pride, lust, resentment, and greed. Anything that keeps you enslaved. Instead of your bondage, I now sow my living word on the inside, and it shall grow and generate for you an abundant harvest of peace, joy, and righteousness. It shall flood the barren places of your heart with my grace until blessings alone remain and loosen from your life. You shall be so completely covered in my mercy, so transformed by goodness itself, that you shall enter unheard of delights in the spirit and discover fantastic wonders. A day the shackles that for too long had strangled life from my spirit decisively were broken. Old places, disastrously barren of hope and vision. I am breathing new life into them. Anger that has festered for years will supernaturally be quenched, all fury banished utterly from your mind. Never again will insults, criticisms, and harsh language be born from your lips. Rather, I will fill your mouth with messages of praise and words overflowing with creative power to heal, restore, and impart freedom to all who hear your voice. You have never taken a step alone in this life even as you felt forsaken at times. So many times I have spoken to you, wooing you with whispers of love, all to awaken confidence that with me is your guide. No obstacle can overpower you, no battle defeat you. Your faith will be empowered by trusting me through the dark valleys of uncertainty, and you will reckon up wellsprings of renewed renewal from within. Yea, you will but touch the hem of my garment, and behold released into your life miracles, far beyond that which you dared even dream of as being possible, for I think and deem of you far higher and braver than you do of yourself. Great in that which I have designed for you in the kingdom of God. Receive this by faith. The seeds of potential that I sow today, being small in their appearance, are meant to grow and develop into a large tree that gives shelter and shades multitudes. As you learn to let go of the reins and progressively place your controls more and more into my hands of grace, relinquishing your tightly held plans, you will see me move mountains and shift the very course of history itself in the outpour of favor upon your life. So cease your anxious striving and fretful worrying of tomorrow. Leave it in my hands. Child, spread my light by sharing this video with someone who needs a touch of my love and strength. I am your master, so remain in me. And my peace shall be your guard. Anxieties beyond your control may rise in the future, but never allow an imaginary rocks to snatch away your rest. You deal with only the today, the unknown eventualities you leave with me until I see it best for you to deal with your charge, then, at this hour, is only this, rise to the challenges and battles of the day in peaceful confidence, knowing for sure that, when the time comes, I would definitely not fail to strengthen you at that particular moment. Beloved child of mine, hearken unto me. I am that one true God who formed you, who knows you more than you could ever imagine about yourself. Ever since before time began, I set my affection upon you. I designed you in my image to be my treasured possession. When darkness shall overtake your mind, remember it is just a moment in a passing storm cloud. My light ever shines upon you. I permit trials in the development of your character just as flames forge fine steel. Face them with courage and clasp hands with me your refuge in life's storms. I never will forsake you. 
for my angels encamp around those who revere me as a mighty army stands guard over a king. Call unto them, and they will bear you up, lest at any time your foot shall hit a stone. As a sculptor sees his hidden statue in the final rough stone, I vision the person you will be. Though you be flawed and inadequate for the task at hand, be not dismayed concerning interruptions of small consequence, for my hand shapes your life into one of excellence. Care less what other people think. I know you and love you as no one else can. The world flouts ephemeral baubles and crowns kings of vain glory. Disregard this, and set your eyes on richer treasures stored for you in my kingdom. Fame fades like the morning mist, wealth takes wings as an eagle toward heaven. But my rewards for faithful souls abide forever. Why soil your clothes, my friend, to go after cheap substitutes? When waiting for all those who love and trust me are these white robes of righteousness. Perhaps the crowds do not scream your name in the coliseums of life, but listen to heaven's roar every time one repentant soul finds salvation. That eternal trophy outshines temporary tinsel. Refuse to judge your worth by the flawed measuring sticks of this realm. I set your value, and you are worth infinitely more than rubies or rivers of oil. You are made in my image, my one-of-a-kind original masterpiece. Even if diamond mines were yours and endless wealth flowed into your coffers like the sea, it could not purchase your real worth to me. When all the other lights go out and cold void of space yawns in front of you, remember you can always come home. I've kept the porch light on and will welcome you with open arms. My smile outshines baby galaxies, and my laughter sings like infinite chiming bells. If earth abhors you, heaven adores you. If men refuse you, angels are crude around you. If darkness frowns, dawn founds, sorrow and sighing one day will flee forever, never to return when I turn this spoiled world into a perfect paradise. Until then, weather the storms. I send them to test foundations and uncover what is hidden in hearts. Build on me the one sure, immovable foundation and you shall weather anything. My love undergirds those rooted in me. When floods rise and winds howl, look beyond the present turmoil to see the sea calm and the sky without a cloud. Child, thou art near thy gusty, angry weather, yet I speak gently, peace be still. While the thundercloud is still passing its thinly wreathed lightnings across the blind darkness of the sky, I have spoken. I will that there be a calm, Soon all shall be still, noisy no more. Grudge not that one comes to obstruct thy path and choke thy heart with unshed tears. The world thus spurned and detested me. Note that if good mockers mock you, are you better than I that you should escape their mocking? Rejoice, not weep. Her approach is meant to cut with may sting at first, but turn into decorations of honor for those allied with me. My servant, keep your chin high. Whatever slings and arrows hostile forces hurl at you, duck to let them pass overhead, then press on undaunted. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. My angels' wings make an impenetrable umbrella. Stand under them, and not a single flick of the arrows is going to touch you. Hash lift up your head, beloved one, and do not be ashamed. No earthly power overcomes those whom I am defending with my hosts from heaven. You will walk through this fire as unharmed as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did many years ago, the son of righteousness, with healing in his wings. And if life grows darker, till all seems hopeless, then hope, for hope is brightest in the darkest night. Perhaps a long road stretches out ahead, with no end in sight but I direct your steps. Take them one at a time, trusting me to choose each inch of the pathway, for tomorrow's grace will answer for today. Day by day I will cast off fresh manna. Only get enough for this one day. Be anxious neither for tomorrow nor for treasures in the future. The man for future years will not fall into your own storehouses, but will fall from heaven. Some friends will walk with you part of the way, and then they will leave, because their road has turned in a direction different than yours. 
Say goodbye to them with a blessing, rather than with malice. All journeys are different. Do not criticize others for the path that they are on. Keep the doors open for future friendships. Replacements will enter your journey who are sent by me to rejuvenate your soul. Don't turn around, but graciously accept those I place on your journey into your future. The stream of fellow sojourners that is sharing your path is ever-changing, but those who walk with you now in this leg of your sojourn I have ordained since ancient times. Treasure your fellowship as friends also. Do not forego meeting with me in prayer and saturating your mind with my word on a regular basis. Carve out quiet spaces in noisy days for us to converse. Seek me first every morning to align your will with mine so you may walk in step with me throughout the day. I have much to speak to you in the silences. Listen, my child. Do not recoil because my words discomfort your flesh. They must. For I see what you cannot. All that obstructs your vision of my glory. I love you far too much to let you stay the way you are. Growing just the way you want to. Though you have a design and a great design. Designed by me. I will remove everything that does not contribute toward the final work everything that is superfluous to making you grow tall and straight. Can the clay say to the potter, Reshape me not, far less should my servant presume to instruct the master in his craft. I informed your innermost being, and know how to apply each tool with skill. Do not resist me, but yield softly to the potter's hand. Even when my knife cuts deep, soon you will understand and thank me for the beauty taking shape in you. Beloved, Many claim to speak for me yet mingle errors with my truth. Test all you hear, even these words, against my flawless standard. Let scripture refine them as fire purifies metal. Only keep that which jives with I. Throw away the dross so that only my pure word takes shape in your heart. I am writing your story, my child. The page is already written tell of my love lavished on you, my nurture and discipline to guide your growth. Yes, some chapters speak of missteps and tears where you stumbled by not heeding my words, yet consider how, with my gentle direction, fresh mercies, and wisdom to avoid future falls, you learn from those stumbles. Shall I not continue writing? The master writer never abandons his unfinished masterwork. The story is unfinished. Its conclusion still unwritten. Heaven's over-the-top ovation of rapturous applause waits to burst forth, not the finicky fake bravos of fame's flittering favor for those who play their part well in my unfolding epic throughout history. Play your part with great gusto, leaning always on me when uncertain how to act. I direct you with my spirit. When lines you must speak come, do. Am redeeming your past, child to open your future path where treasures yet unseen await discovery. My glory will elevate you in due time. Dear one, let your soul blow with the brightness of my love. By giving through the super thanks, you help to magnify my message and bring it to those in need. Together, we are building a brighter future. Press the super thanks and watch as my blessings pour into your life and each scene has been written in a way that you will receive grace sufficient to go through it. There are some chapters, yes, that you have to keep reading while still in the dark concerning my goodness. Not until you have passed them do you realize how needful they were. Be brave, go on with my hand under you. I dare not go away and leave my book unfinished. You are afraid to go on because the way grows dark, but at every step you take I make the darkness light. Tomorrow's food does not feed today. Today's grace is enough and is given out to be sufficient for the present needs. The manna that fed my people in the wilderness day by day is what also feeds you. Therefore, my daily bread will feed you on your way to the promised land from which milk and honey forever flow. That far off country is drawing slowly closer day by day. What an so every hero is transformed by tests he has passed through faith in the author's providence. So shall your transformation come to perfect fulfillment. Well done, my faithful one. Step now into your master's unfathomable peace and rest. Rest for your every labor. 
The full meaning of your most unique role in my epic shall clear in time. For today it is sufficient that you know you are loved so mightily and you walked by the way I did ordain since first. I will never forsake you. So lift your head up, beloved, and press on trusting me. Do not be troubled, my beloved child. Hear my voice day by day. Sit with me and enjoy this very precious time together. I want you neither frightened nor troubled by disturbing thoughts. When you quiet down and rest, your brilliance shows. Your ideas are lucid and words not vain and your efforts led by honest faith. When you remain in me, dread just slips away why the anxious fear that held you totally disappears. But all these I have written in my book, even the meditations of your hearts, and I have noticed the results of your prayers. When distress took hold of you, you knelt down before me, and I came to your aid. So now you're not in the clutch of depression. Is such a feeling of strength, uplifting, and going on further on the way. Then, when on some other day sorrow laid its invisible hand upon you again, and you came back to my feet with your agony strangling in you like a cup too full, your prayer was all but smothered in tears, for your burden was so heavy with insensibility that your tongue lay paralyzed. But I understood your soul. I brought healing and restored your joy. But with courage you did not cease fighting. Thou didst fear no giants. Here thou comest into me again. Ask what thou wilt, I shall give it. From thy kimwe heart flowed forth fountains of life. Thy thoughts are without blame, and what thou wouldst have needed hath been given unto thee. Be brave and stand, be sure that, through thine enemies, the very earth shall tremble, in awe and fear striking their hearts. The tumult in you shall be stilled because of my mighty hand. Already there are bountiful mercies upon you, and your hardships and weariness will be no more. When you are eager and hopeful, I will rejoice with you. If you are weary and overtaken, come sit with me, stretched and overwhelmed. You are thirsty for this love that replenishes. Rest for a little while in the stillness. Hear the murmur of the breeze. Speak no more. Just listen. Let the blowing winds shed their burden. The torrents of unshed sorrow inside you at last subside. Your own thoughts have swept upon you like a tempest. Take my hand. Close your eyes now. Hush and still your mind and believe. Though today it seems like legions of horror have shaped and stabbed your heart. Have no fear. Do not be dismayed. These are just shadows that will run away at the first call of my voice. As you listen, balm is arising inside to make you whole, body, soul, and spirit mended. As you fellowship with me daily, you will sense an ever-increasing joy that overflows from within. Rivers of abundant life flow forth from you. Nobody in this world can give you the peace and satisfaction you are looking for. Give your heart only to me. Do not repeat the past mistakes of giving those parts of yourself to others, hoping that another would be a better choice to satisfy you. You were created for me to love. You were. I am faithful to you and cannot withhold love or life from you after you have given yourself wholly and completely to follow me, serve me, obey me, and live to me. I will provide all you need. Do not be anxious. I know your other wishes and will take care to fulfill them. The removal of indebtedness, liberation from the vices which wreck your life, a mate who will cross the hills with you. Reassure me that you have boundless faith in me. Promise that I shall now remain first in your affection. Swear this moment you love me, and there now already may I throw my great joy upon you. In seen and unseen realms the miracles keep unfolding. They are bringing to you new friendships, doors of favor that open. Circumstances that, rooted in trials, will suddenly show up as triumph, peace in your home, provision, and restoration. Above all, my love is a treasure that outshines all other treasures you could possibly desire or acquire on earth. You have my delight, my affection, my pleasure, rewards that will last for eternity. I rejoiced in you even when you were far from me. I continued loving you as you came back home. 
If lies ever taunt you that I rage against you or distance myself because of your failures, do not believe them. Your sins do not repel or frighten me. I will never cast you off or forsake you, beloved one. Handedly, honestly repentant time after time again. Speaking truth, you haven't quenched the light of mine that would expose where you got off your way. I love you when you fall, I get how and why it happened. Deeply I am touched by your honesty. I love your heart so much. Truly open in front of me. Those miraculous breakthroughs are taking place all over the world. Strategic relationships, opportunities a person could not have dreamed of, challenges that seem like impediments, but will soon open up into breakthroughs, mercy for my family, and financial help. Insights into my destiny that turns everything around. The most brilliant gift of all is at your display my unwavering, absolute love and delight. Assure yourself that deep down, I am with you in every detail of your life. Gently, tenderly, I hold you close, my protective presence totally surrounds you, shielding from evil. I fully realize what you are up against, how enormous your burdens, how great the demands for your time and attention. I realize all your efforts are not in vain. You are seen, known, cherished, my beloved child. I speak to you these words from the depths of eternity, for I am Alpha and Omega. Before time was my love rested upon you, for you are fearfully and wonderfully made. When darkness shrouded the void and creation was yet asleep, already I saw you with the eye of my mind. I saw your glory, the good I would do in you, and was glad. I rejoiced in you before you were born. My child, you have been through so much, but my spirit has not left you. When you feel the pain squeezing your heart, don't give in to the darkness, because I will never leave you. Maybe you feel forsaken in your hour of need, that your prayers are echoing unheard across a yawning gulf. Yet, even on the darkest of nights my light shall shine on you. I will give you the strength from the highest place so that you can stand the strongest storms. The tempests that assail you cannot stand against the bulwarks of my grace. Flooding may be at meteoric heights, but I will bear you on eagle's wings. You shall not be submerged in tidal waves, for I am gearing you very close to the sanctuary of my hands. When you pass through the fires of affliction, beloved, the smell of smoke shall not cleave to your clothing, nor shall any flame become lit upon you, because I am putting out the embers that smolder with gentle dews. The tongues that lick at your every side recoil before my approaches. I say unto them, Touch not mine anointed, do my prophet no harm. Be still, and my voice whispers, Come to me. When weariness doth drape thy shoulders like a mantle, unburden thyself at my throne of mercy. Lay bare thy broken heart, and I will make thee whole. The evils that plague you flee in the light of my presence. Persist in praying and humbly seeking me so that you may find rest under these sheltering wings. My child, I form the inward parts of your being, with divine skill and with a purpose in mind, I knit you together. From the womb, you came forth as an intricate tapestry of many colors, fearfully and wonderfully made. I call you by name, for you are mine, and I have called you by your name from where I set you at your conception in your mother's womb. And the name I murmured in, that secret place shall be yours alone in eternity. You are a manifestation of my workmanship, even the crowning of my creation. In you, I have lit the lamp of my glory that men may see your good works and give glory unto me. Yet the enemy thinks to quench that light, to darken his glow in your soul and cast a shroud of darkness around you. His minions prowl around you as ravenous wolves to rend and devour. But greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The darkness shall not quench the light that blazes from your spirit. No weapon formed against you can prosper. They will encamp around you like bodyguards and lift you up, so that at any time you don't trample on a stone. You have been marching from victory to victory, with triumphal ensigns of conquest waving at the head of your procession. In the surges of raging waters, my staff and rod shall be there to protect you. The undertow shall not hurt you, 
for its force cannot succeed against even the might of my right hand. The high crests that overrun you at my nod collapse into foam, thus far and no farther. Forth tempests go from its fury and die like fleece blown by the wind. Deep calm broods in its wake and you see at last upon its bosom that the wavelets are really fleece like in the sun. Come, depressed one, and I will show you a wonder beyond the furthest sea. New horizons will open before you with the gaining of each uphill climb. Then will you be greeted with a majestic scene that shall eclipse all memory of the storm now spent. Lift up thine eyes, my beloved. Take heart and fear no evil. The opposing forces behind you crumple into the darkness at the first light of dawn. Thine ears catch the good tidings in the wings of the morn. Deliverance is coming, for just as surely as the heaviness of night takes flight, so too shall your sorrows, the bloom that hangs over your spirit shall lift, and in its place, cloudless skies, and you shall bask in the splendor and serenity of heaven. Hardship and heartache shall be remembered no more as my restoration washes over you in healing waves, refreshing like rain upon thirsty ground. My spirit shall penetrate and rejuvenate parched places within your soul. Power will course through your veins, and the vitality of my living water will mingle with your blood, and you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace as one that dreams. All of creation will rejoice over you. Mountains and hillsides will burst into song. Forests will clap their hands in ovation. I set you as a seal upon my heart, as a seal upon my arm, as something I guard and protect with an undying vigilance. I want you to be certain that I have you firmly in my unchanging grip. You shall not fall through these almighty hands. I will uphold you with my strong, never weary arms to the very end. What I have painfully made and save it, I will never forget, nor will I let down. My designs for you soar higher than the skies, plunge deeper than the ocean, and stretch wider than the horizons bordered by the most distant starlight. The plans I have made for you are out of this world, and yet even as we speak, they are staring to come into being. Can you see their first green shoots come from arid earth? Watch fresh verdure springing up in every corner. My sown seeds shall gather harvest ample in the proper time. Till then, the younglings have to be handled tenderly. Shelter them from unmitigated gales, in case the stalks get broken before they are able to take root but in next to no time, they will be like hopes of righteousness, on which the nations of the world will run for cover. Leaves will not wither nor fade, they will provide abundant healing for multitudes. Stand watch and witness this unfolding transformation in your life. This landscape, now bare, shall flourish abundantly beyond your wildest imaginations. Beloved child, steep yourself in the promises I have spoken over you this day. May they infuse your soul with boldness to pursue all I have prepared for you according to the power at work within you. The very same might and majesty that raised Christ Jesus from the dead. Nothing lies beyond the scope of my reach. Heaven's inexhaustible resources stand at the ready to supply your every need. No word of mine shall ring hollow or return void but magnify my glory in that it fulfills its purpose for you unhindered. Set your face like flint towards the destiny to which I ordain you before time's first breath. Though forces may arise against you, be not afraid, for no weapon formed against you can hinder my advancing kingdom. The battle is the Lord's and I shall certainly win the victory even as I cleave the sea to lead you through on dry ground. Who is it that shall hinder your passage to that goodly haven? Go on unhindered and possess your heritage every good gift which has been accorded you since worlds were. Dear one, by subscribing, you align yourself with a community that cherishes my teachings, where your heart will be continuously uplifted. Just give yourself this moment of peace. Be still for a moment in silence and remember all that you have to be thankful for today, your life, your family, your health, the very breath you take, your food at your table, the roof over your head, my divine protection upon your house, the guardian angels ready for the watch of your sleep and to fight for you. You have so many reasons to feel blessed, 
surrounded by beautiful reasons to cherish life each day. Meditate on these blessings as you fill your mind with positive thoughts and as you keep your eyes wide open to see my presence in your life. Knowing that I am in control of your future, I see myself in the thankful heart, a heart that knows it needs me. Such a heart is always looking for me in trust and hope, with a sense of just how blessed it is. Sometimes I see you upset by the things that happen around you but that should only be natural. Don't be too upset. You feel the weight of your responsibilities. It is your desire that everything goes well, that there be provision in your home, health in your family, and that nothing and no one come to take away the peace and certain stability that you need. Still, there are those bleak moments where you also lose your thankfulness and the enemy rushes with whispers, planting vile thoughts within, taking your concern to fear, all around with lies, converting fear to dread, distress and despair, waiting for you, child, to raise high your arms and say those words so that the enemy does flee. Be grateful to me first for your life, for your family, your health, for everything you are and what you have. Your true faith and grateful heart are like an armor around you, strengthening you as you rise to face another day. I look with keen interest toward the first words of gratitude from your lips, your sincere thank you for life itself. If your time is very short and you must hurry away, then listen to these words as you go. But if you have a little while to linger, then receive this message. It's full of joy and comfort. I am well pleased with you. You've touched my heart, stirred my spirit. Amidst the roadblocks along your path, your trust in me has been steady, even unshakable. For this is the perseverance, for which I swear by it more blessings shall fall, not just in and around, but also in your kindred. Do not waver and do not stop your steps. Walk on, reach unto the heavens unafraid with your arms high up even when you are entangled tired. Sit with me for a while, talk. Share your mind, your dreams, your soul. Remember not. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed from my mouth. At this moment, I share with you a bread, a feast prepared for your sustenance. It has nourishment, breath, peace, and consolation. I leave you my peace. I bequeath you my peace. Take it now into the recesses of your soul. When the load of the world is too much to bear, recall that the flame of my love gently forewarned you, am staying for good. Don't only rely on your hands, theirs may just fail you. Never let your spirit depend alone on the fondness and affirmation of others. Yes, true, I made you for love to receive it, and because you were made to love in return. It's also very true that this is the love you'll have for all eternity, the only abiding, unchanging love you'll know for all eternity. For I am love. It never forsakes you, never abandons you, never lets you down, always nigh, ever true. Let not your heart be given to those who may forsake you. Do not give your future to those who, having taken all, may stop loving. Do not place in your soul's forefront people who might turn away, harm your heart, or disrupt your life. You sought hope, and behold, it arrives with reason. Here it is, remind yourself that you are never solitary. You are not forsaken, and your parents, family, children, even if they leave you or forsake you, the most beautiful and precious of love will be there for you, the love of your Heavenly Father, who loves you. I am very sensitive to your needs. I am here to help you overcome your problems, to be able to stand against temptation, and to keep going without giving up so that you will be successful and productive. Trust in me, as I am your Father in heaven. Speak with me freely to reveal your wants, for it's my desire that you should feel and know that I am your friend. I am very much in readiness, with a willingness to reach my hand out towards you so my ear would be inclined to you at all times. To speak with me would be good for you. It would calm your soul and put your mind to rest. As you pour out your heart in words, so does faith ignite a rekindled fire, and miracles shall manifest. 
Today is your day to speak out everything that you want to say, but also to listen to my voice when I talk to you. I do not come to blame, rebuke, or remind you of failure. Just feel the words my spirit has to whisper in your ear. I declare my love for you and await your acceptance each every morning so that when you arise and after your first thoughts you accept and love me with a need for my life. These words from your heart are your worship, your adoration, that reaches to my throne with the first sprout of daylight. My love fills you, your family, and your home with safety. Sweetheart, I want you to remember that when trouble comes I am here. You don't have to worry. I will give you the good things you ask for. If it's something that will bless your life, answer thee quickly with all my love. Neither people nor the world can give you the love and peace that I give you. I have blessed you with faith, strength, courage, and determination. The things that I have blessed you with will always pave the way for you and enable you to overcome every obstacle and win each fight. You are a man who believes in a true, mighty Lord who works behind the scenes. You speak to it, you tell me, you feel me, and you believe in me. Now rise and stand up and face life with a smile. Take the words which you will hear and read from me today. Share with me how much love you need. My love for you overflows my heart. And today I am prepared to fill you with love that is kind, sweet, energizing, patient, understanding, and never-ending. That matter on your mind, be rest assured, will be safe with me. Trust me fully, lay your path out before me each day. Have faith because I will show you the way. Wake up refreshed and feel great faith glow inside you. This is my gift to you, to lift your spirit and give you a valid reason to wake up in the morning, to charge into every day with full force, to tackle your work with energy, to reach out to new friends, and to embrace the opportunities I have for you. Oh, I am so delighted when I see your eyes light up with joy over receiving my gifts and how you show your thanksgiving, even through tears. Embrace the tears and the deep joy, for I am filling you so full with happiness that it will wash away all the past sorrows. Your time for relief is coming. The answers to your prayer are on the way. In preparing to bless you with the choicest blessings, which feed your soul into being able to stay in my presence, I will make sure nothing drags you away from my love. Man, stop struggling on your own. It's wearing you out. Turn around for a minute and close your eyes. Let it go, give it to me. At my feet, lay down your burdens. You won't be crushed or shamed, and I will help you with whatever is your ask. Protect only the heart and silence those who want to watch you fail. Don't let disappointment take up a home in your heart. Keep away from people who would rather see you depressed or tell you you're not good enough because, in my eyes, you are invaluable. You have trusted me, and you know just how much I care and adore you. I'm here to remind you about how huge my love is, and all of the beautiful things that I have in store for you. I know you feel my presence with you more than ever today, and this sensation is only going to increase day by day. You will pass through all your tribulations, be set free and blessed. I am going to heal your hurts, relieve the aches in your body, and soothe the feelings that give you pain. I am going to fill you with divine joy and happiness, wipe away your tears, and again bring a bright smile back onto your face. You shall lift up your voice with singing. Yes, you shall be heard testifying to my love for you. You shall teach those who did not want you to feel worthy that you are indeed loved, and you are loved by me. You shall come fully persuaded by my existence, and though there would be those who doubt me and deny my existence, you shall stand, and you shall face them and pronounce the blessing that I have upon you in my name. Your foundation will be sure. Nobody will shake you out of your place. Today, I am imparting joy into you, fortifying you and reigniting in you the zest for life and your desire to help and serve all. Receive this opportunity I offer you toward living a life of purpose. Learn my empowering message and expand in wisdom and love each day. You do not have to suffer anymore or punish yourself for past mistakes. 
open your heart to my forgiveness, and be assured of my presence with you night and day. Be prepared to help and answer when you call on me in prayer. I don't need words of your own making. I understand your language of the heart. When you say, help me, I am coming running. When you cry, I need thee, I am stretching forth my hand. When you cry, with tears, madly crying, I can't take it anymore. I will hasten to you. I shall take you in mine arms, and in the stillness of thy soul, which through its striving was exhausted, I shall whisper with my sweet voice, relating how much I love thee. Thy throne is open before thee. Come with confidence and speak to me about your needs. I am also glad to hear thee. I want to answer you to feel secure in every situation. Don't allow fear the time. You are not fighting alone. I'm here to help you, and whatever happens, it'll be all ears. Fight for life. For that purpose I've put in you. Dedicate time to your family and focus on the people you love. Then give them some attention. Be faithful to your work. Don't fight where there's no need to fight. Do not entertain negative thoughts. Walk in the oi. Lift up your hands toward this blue heaven and be grateful for your life. I am the one of a kind, sacrosanct, and supernatural remedy for all of your afflictions. Your family and future I hold in my hands. Bear this in mind. Do not give up. I will never leave you. In heaven blessings are not a few, and your name is put on each and every one of them. I know what I am thinking towards you. Therefore, believe in your heart, at heaven and at earth. The elements are getting aligned. Many situations are working in your favor. Without a doubt, I have declared to you abundance of supply, freedom from debts, heaven's wisdom, and blessings tailor-made for you and your loved ones. You did not land on this earth by mistake. I have prepared a multitude of wonderful things for your journey. The greatest of these, the first of all great enrichments, is my unfailing love. I loved you when you were far off, and my love survived as you came closer to my arms. Realize, your occasional lapses don't light my wrath or drive me far from you. If you think so, you are wrong. Your mistakes don't turn me off from you. I'm not going to cast you aside just because you sinned. Every time you return to me with a repentant heart and a mouth of honesty, I see your real love from me. Every time you fall, I see your real heart. I shall treasure your honesty. No amount of trickery will blind it from me. While others put on their masks of perfection and righteousness to enter my presence and throw stones at those who are not like them or who believe differently, you are not standing among the guilty who condemn all and think themselves good. Yours is a peaceful spirit, your manner gentle, your thoughts pure. Even in the falls you will rise, confident and faithful. Never find more or less guilty of accusations. Nobody living in the world has the right to do so. Keep in your soul this attitude of believing. Come before my presence daily with a humble heart, prepared to listen to me and I to your efforts shall respond with many graces. Child of mine, if this word has reached your soul, touch that like button as a sign of the connection we share. I know material blessings have no interest for you. You desire only blessings and protection for your family, which I will do, and more. I am going to prepare you so that you will be ready, and that when the doors open, you shall not fear to enter. For as you hear, even at this moment, many miracles are taking place in the supernatural, and all will be explained in your time of preparation and training. People like new friends, never before opportunities, situations that may look problematic, but shall, in your faith and patience, develop into blessings that shall abound in your home, provision, foremost in beauty. You are in possession of my real love. Tell me you believe in me. Have faith and rest on my arms because my hands are in control of your life. Do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name. You are mine. I am with you, I every moment, when you rise. I want you to feel me near you as your eyes open each morning. Do not let other things take those moments away from you. 
come and listen to my word. Hear what my spirit tells you. I want to assure you that I have all under control, and it is essential for you to have the trust. Do not be afraid of adversities by my side. There is no force, no one that can harm you. Many of the issues that burden you now will be resolved far sooner than you think. It's there, at that very moment, that the answers you long for will manifest before your very eyes as you pray. Be sure that I am mapping it out as you go along this journey. Your story is being written. There is no counsel taken against my wisdom and purpose without it coming back void. Those very blessings you have desired. I am now opening the door where through it you have poured out your very heart in prayers and strengthening your faith. I am here to exalt you to take you by the hand towards a new dawn, a new beginning where everything will be magical. Forget what they will say, walk with your head up and live your life with faith and dignity. The envious ones will continue to speak their envy, but my perception of you is the only one that really matters. You are perfect in my eyes, with a heart filled with purity and authenticity. Ingrain my words into your awareness, and whenever assault comes, let my arms be your comfort. I have been there with you throughout every battle. I know every fall, every failure, every success, and every strife. But now it's your time to rise, to take your life to brand new levels. Let go of yesterday's battles and walk into a new season of triumph and restoration. This is where I will transform your reality, where your new chapter starts. Allow me to guide on a path full of blessings and wisdom. I give my love, give my peace to soothe your heart and mine. Will you allow me to? I will open up the heavens for you and fill your hands with blessings. I write my word on your heart so that your steps shall be solid and never stray from this love that wraps you up and forgives your mistakes. You are you and you may fail, but I am a God of mercy. I accept your repentance and even from the abyss, I shall take you out. My blessings are far greater than all material wealth. I hold more value to you than all the treasures the world could ever mention. If I tell you that I shall open the heavens for you, receive my promise in faith and respond to me. I believe you take my word seriously, for this is no game. My love is not hidden, the affection I have for you is no mystery. Step outside and look up at the sky, Feel the air you breathe, the sun stroking you. These are all gifts that I send your way, and that is how I say I love you. I am here. Countless have been the times when I have cared for you, rescued you from pain, even from death itself. When you've gone the wrong way in the dark and in error, it is of infinite value in my sight, and there is a definite task which I have committed to you to perform it. I would that I love and that I power be manifested by the to this end be filled daily with my Holy Spirit. Thou art upon the threshold of a deep experience in spiritual awareness. Thou shalt shortly have a vision that will penetrate beyond the surface and into the character and design of thy fellows. Wisdom in plenty I will give you, that your mind may be lifted above the worldly, and you would be able to help and inspire others greatly. But let your deeds express my word, in you let all others see the fruit of your faith and proof of what knowing me can bring. Believe in my strength, stretch forth your hands to receive the handsomest of treasure that I offer. Let them be sincere, accept them with an unwavering faith. Now the heavens are taking you in, but let not your heart be from me, leaving your heart within me with words of love and faith. Proclaim love and trust in me unto the end, free from the thoughts of anxiety but with a heavy burden fully laid on me. I shall allay your fears and apprehensions and enfold you in love, revealing the wonders my power can do in your life. This day is going to be special day. You are going to experience transformation in your surroundings. You will notice multidimensional changes which are going to happen in your life, in your family, and in people's attitudes. Even the smiles light up when they feel my powerful presence in you. They will perceive me, and you will see their astonishment as you approach them with camaraderie and joy. Today, 
I endow you with wisdom and deep-seated readiness to realize your heart's desires. I acknowledge your deep longing for joy. Therefore, I encourage you to trust in my declaration. I can feel your emotions and everything that goes on in your life, and I try to ward off harm from you. Is still good character in you, protect your honor, uplift you, and save you from embarrassment. Change the way you see things, put up your head high. Come see me every day, and if you feel like crying, make sure you believe I will be there with all that you can. Take pleasure in the love I offer as you sing and worship, my spirit comforting fears and filling you with my love. Delight even in time of trouble, laughter and sing out, Give praise and petitions. Lift your arms and surrender. For when a friend asks of your joy, declare it is for God is on my side. Even if some do not understand, allow peace. My mighty forces shall support you in the battle as you raise your hands to surrender. Bending low in submission, casting all your cares upon me and trusting in my grace. You desire change and am going to give you a new heart. Soon enough, you will see me unfold you in my love. Keep pushing forward, and don't ever doubt. Seek me at the break of day, and just like the rising sun that bathes you in daylight, my glory will light up your way, brighten your life, and chase away the darkness. Your heart will be full of my verity, your spirit enriched with fortitude, and your mind set free from grief. I bless you to recommit yourself to prayer, to run after me, remove the distractions, purposing to give your thoughts and choices over to me too, in a time of harsh challenges and difficult circumstances, in days of confused and doubtful mixtures. I, therefore, reaffirm, assert, direct, and beseech you, walk in faith, for everything is possible for those believing in me, recognizing my presence, and being fully faithful, there are no obstacles big enough to stop you on your way. To those that are acquainted and feeling my love, that embrace me in their struggles as they hear the whispers that I have abandoned them all alone, let it be known unto you that my love for you is never-ending and sure. I have been with you from the start, watching over you. Just have that little faith, my child, and I will want to direct your path straight so you might not fall into harm. That. You must really put your trust in me. I am your life, your future, your strength, your defender. Step forward in your belief. The wonders you don't see, believe that they shall come to pass. If your belief is small, to me it suffices. To me it means that the blessings shall not stop. Remember what I have promised you. Make time to hear my words daily. Turn your back on your mistakes. Commit your life to me. I know you believe in me, and that belief will get you walking on firm ground in faith. Then, when you least expect it, joy will bubble up in your heart, and your soul will be surprised by happiness. Your withering dreams will come alive again, and all those hopes you kept aside while in despair most certainly will resurge. Faith will bring your life back to life. You will have felt like crumbling, not having the ability to take it any longer, with too many problems and a life too hard to endure. Here I am today, sharing my love with you and offering you fabulous gifts, happiness and loads of good things. Get your mind and heart ready, for I am saying this right now. People you thought were gone will come back into your life. Your faith is increased. It's about helping those people hurting out there, be poised when the doors open and the barricades fall. The barricades and obstacles upon your blessing shall fall into pieces. All things are possible for those who believe in my words and who understand that I can do all things. Oh, my dear child, prepare. The things ahead are even bigger than your dreams. You will find your family relationships restored as forgiveness and healing are just waiting to restore themselves. Open your arms wide and embrace them fully. I can give you not only a good job but true success. They'll bring people into your life who will see your worth and reward your hard work and talents. Be always honest. Never tell lies or talk cruelly about others. Avoid gossip or false information. 
Be wary of those who want to steal the positive blessings that have been sent to you. For quite long, I have been taking you the way. It's now a very opportune period to rise to a higher stature, deepening your grasp of my teachings, and to completely put trust in me. Don't go and place all faith in material wealth. Neither grow embittered if you should lose possessions or even employment. I have best in store for you. Trust me with your entire being. It's time to set out on the journey to supernatural state of living. Profess your love and faith in me, and see today how my love and power inundate your life and family. I cherish you, my child. Oh, how I long to come into your house and produce a great miracle in it. I am at the door, calling you. Will you answer that call and allow me to come in and do something new, something wonderful? something powerful and miraculous in your life. I have observed your need and have sworn, one shall not come upon thy household and distress your family. Upon your dwelling, I will have a rain of blessings fall, for it is so many years that you have been faithful, praying without ceasing, fasting, crying, setting me before all other thoughts and doing. Therefore, this is the day that your kindness shall bear fruits, I shall fill your house with prosperity, gladness, strength, and health. Be certain of the things that I have said to you, because I will do them all. Be prepared for great things to come. Release all anxieties and sorrows that have bound you. Along with my blessings is wisdom, power, and ability to make good choices, so that the gifts bestowed upon you shall be kept and multiplied for the benefit of others as well. Continue to be grateful and trust my work of transformation. I am preparing you, and pretty soon, many doors of opportunity will reveal themselves to you. Your faith grown over time shall bring forth much fruit. You also pass through difficult trials, at which times your faith in my omnipotence was never lost and proved the winner. Your faith is very valuable, and humbleness in behavior is commendable. They will carry you very far. Get ready, for I will open new doors, doors to places you have never been, to bring much increase in your own house. I love you, and you will never be alone. Yesterday, he wept so bitterly over the trials and unexpected betrayals, and he had a feeling of being forsaken by many of those he loved. But I assure you, your tears came up with smoke before my holy throne where destinies are being molded, diseases purged, and problems settled. I offer my consolation in the midst of your trouble. You are not forsaken, even though they that were your nature have turned away. I stand beside you day by day, loving you ever more. Know that I am listening, and through my grace you have direct access to my divine presence. Express your deepest desires in your heart. I am all patient and all loving, like a good friend. I don't ask you to stop your tears for you need to let them go. Unburden your soul to me. Give me the opportunity to fill you with peace. For after sorrow, here is my joy. Your joy right now shall be immense. You have managed past trials very well. Now is the time for blessings, and you are fully prepared to accept all that I have for you. The heavens shall open, and showers of blessings shall rain on you, even in your loneliest hours receive my hug to comfort and reassure you. Though you are not alone, your soul shall gaily overflow with joy in my presence, opening ways for good to come. He'll open for you the gates of amazing blessings, but to the last word of my talk, listen and doubt not. Your labor shall soon be recompensed its own reward. I know your story and can read your heart. You don't want selfish glory or fleeting riches. You want to prosper to honor your family, diminish the weight of debt, and be a source of help and support to others. I long for blessing, for it is my desire. I will open the floodgates of the sky and pour out blessing upon you through your every need until you are drenched in blessing, relieved from oppression, and raised from war. If you can trust me when believing about you, I want you to act. Rise determined and continue to labor. Sleep if you need to, but arise the next day. Struggle and endure with every ounce of your soul's strength. 
move forward without murmuring or screaming, with strength and gladness, never mind how things go not as wished or whether there are connivers bent on giving you a hard time, steadiness let us maintain the course. Even amid such tribulation, in resolute spirit, you will hold your head up to opponents, smile to their faces, be patient with them, give them water if they thirst, and extend a hand to them when they stumble. Exhibit wisdom, using the intelligence you have been provided with. Avoid sharing details about your life with them or your vulnerabilities, and not giving them weapons for perfidy and destruction. Give them love but be the real deal, all that you have learned up to now about yourself. Keep a distance from the evil ones, remain secretive about your plans and do not indulge in gossip about any person. This will drive your enemies to the point of desperation when they realize that they cannot bring you down. Precious child, let your heart draw near to me. Click join and become part of a fellowship where my teachings guide and my love surrounds. Together, we will grow in grace, nurturing the faith that binds us. I shall clear them from your way. We have just begun this walk together. You will step into the future with confidence bigger, and meticulousness until I tell you otherwise. As time passes, you will come to understand much. Gal stand one day in front of a tremendous door behind it. Wondrous blessings. Now tell me that you trust this commitment to come before me each day and to initiate this plan. It is good. Courageous child. This is a salute to your faith. You are sure to get over your struggles. Whatever worries you are unsafe, I am doing. May it be better if you unload all your worries, anxieties, and griefs unto me. It is my Holy Spirit that strengthens you. All that you are meant to get in the form of healing and solace will take place within you. Sparks of wanting to live, wanting to personally stand up, fight, and win will come alive. I am opening new ways for you and it is imperative that you come to a realization of your worth and your value and start afresh. Accept my grace and embrace my forgiveness. Free yourself from all the guilt of having stumbled at times, for your regretfulness is so real. I am not standing up against you with things of the past errors, and will not be telling those things over and over again. All of your old mistakes are erased off your record. I take away completely all pain of no use, you go free, healed. From me you shall have all the guidance you seek, and all the strength to meet every trial or enemy. Nothing at all can take your joy from you which I, in store, have got for you. Just place trust in it, even if you can't see it or vice versa or even touch it. That will be a good day when they come. You'll feel a joy that you have never experienced before. Hensworth, I anoint thee with holy oil and my power shall increase within thee day after day. Your strength shall grow, your mind shall remain fresh, you shall understand my promises to you, and the direction and purpose of your life shall be made known unto you. You will know your path and what actions to take to live it out. I assure you, tough years are over. What now lies ahead is the time of reaping, to reap many blessings and have barns filled to overflowing. There were times that tough moments visited you, also, with lots of pains. You said goodbye to some of your loved ones who departed. Indeed, there were those moments that you felt it was your turn, but today, victory can be proclaimed over your life. Nothing in your future can ever erase your blessings. You convictions now are such that you have learned to discern through my word. You know me well now, you understand what is being prepared for you and your family. Everyone in your household is important. They are also a part of my plan. Be courageous and valiant, therefore, and in your own house, remind everyone of the fact that these are not mere coincidences, but the fruit of faith, fidelity, true repentance, and strong decision not to turn back again to your old life. So he can promise to me a lot, to convert them. They only have to seek me a little, and when they do kneel before me, I will bless with the gift of truly knowing me, not just by what others say about me but in a personal and living way, in spirit and in truth. 
Of course, there are ones in your household who must make crucial decisions, who must confess their doings and shun evil companions. I will give you much love and infinite patience in speaking calmly to them what I have commanded you, with sweetness and tenderness. Do not condemn them. I am sending you out to free them, not to scourge and condemn them. If you truly love and trust me, then you must learn this truth. All people can change. I give a new life to those who truly repent. Open your heart for this great opportunity to take care of your loved ones. Pray for them and believe that I can be at work within their lives. When it's time to say goodbye, be good to them. Allow me to work in their hearts. I promise I will not fail you. Through dreams, I will open your eyes about your family. Along the way, you'll meet people you haven't seen for years. When you meet them, extend your hand at a warm smile and pass my message on. Tell them I love them. I want them to be rejuvenated and that I know what goes on inside of them, that they are so frustrated and so disappointed. You tell them now is the time to be rejuvenated, not yesterday, not tomorrow. It is the time to make them open their hearts to me, their wrongdoing, and pray in whatever state, though even it's just a flash prayer. Bless them in joy, for you have planted a seed of awakening and faith in their hearts that will then develop into a strong tree. Obey my voice, trust me, and live your life in faith. All your problems are solved already. Go into today with peace. You will see a panorama of miracles in your life. You shall raise your hands in joy, glorifying my hallowed name. Amen. Indeed, my child, I am your God, the one who fills your life with infinite grace and endless mercy. When you are low, I am the hand that comes out of the blue and picks you up. When you are ailed by the blows of life, I am your solace, your haven, your source of unyielding strength. I add strength to you, like an eagle, with my presence sorrows of your heart vanish away. I have flung wide the doors to a supernatural realm where you hold the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and nothing, absolutely nothing, can harm you. These words relate to you today as a peace bomb, as a lighthouse, instilling hope and casting away your fears to replenish your spirit. I am your ever watchful guardian, watching over your very soul, especially in this time when the challenges of the world preserve but frighten you daily. Temptations lurk, and enemies seek to undermine you from every corner. There are times when you just feel lost and don't know whom to trust anymore. Friends may become your enemies and your family may turn away from you in your most critical moment. But I am here, always here for you. My love for you surges more with every passing day. You must not anchor all of your hopes in fallible human beings or things that are transitory in nature. Verily today I come to make you sure of my eternal pledge. As you pass through this world, so I walk beside you. I carry your burden. I forgive your iniquities, and I bestow my Holy Spirit upon you. Every hand that is raised to smite you shall be turned aside, and those who lead you into error, them I shall judge. Many will try to bring you down, putting a shadow of shame over you, driven by the venom of envy in their hearts. But look now, nobody can pluck you out of my hands. Believe in the promises that stand inscribed for you, leaning on me. Receive these words as a forerunner of my unfathomable mercy. Open thine ears, and let my divine breath renew thy mind. You have many years ahead of you, many great missions to fulfill. There is a sacred and wonderful purpose that calls you, but it's not in this world nor in the people around you that you get your nourishment and power. You who want deep and lasting blessings, who crave for life that will really revolutionize your own and your family's, he is your only hope. You are not turning your backs on the right course. Press on. Learn to love me with undivided loyalty. Let me have the first place in your heart. I long to be first in your life, and I require nothing more than some moments of your time each day. You have been made holy and accepted through my sacrifice and resurrection. I know your shortcomings, but I have cloaked you in my grace. 
you are no depraved criminal groveling in the dust of wickedness. Turn to my word when guided is needed. Consult your Bible when wisdom is sought. Ask my servants who direct you, for I shall come to you in many ways. Be attentive, and you shall succeed. You know very well that I have never promised an easy life, but challenges and tests will always form a part of life. There's one huge difference when someone like you places unwavering trust in me. I breathe life and joy into your soul. I bestow upon you a crown of victory. Precious child, if my words have touched you, let your heart respond by liking this message, for I am with you always. I have seen you in white robes. I give you the power, ability, and courage to overcome a thousand barriers, to pass a thousand frontiers, to travel far and wide and show my wonders. I dare say I make you be steadfast, shining strong in faith like that rock which stands solid, a light to those who lose their way, who hold fast to their past, and undervalue the great blessings I am about to pour upon them. My pleasure lies in making a highway for you that will clear your path, open doors, answer your prayers, bring answers, strengthen you, and guide you through the waves of life. I want you to grow, to be humbled through adversities, which will knock at your door. Allow me entrance to your heart, and I promise you a new path lighted by the radiance of your Lord, where impossibilities can become possibilities. People change, hard hearts are softened, and the fountain of your supply overflows in great abundance. Debts disappear, sorrow takes its leave, and joy envelopes you in its warm embrace. My love and mercy shall be upon you forever, even where you cannot feel my presence. I am a part of your life, a witness to every tear that reaches your cheeks and to the smiles that decorate your face. I am there with you in darkness, the light to your way. When you are so weak, I am your stronghold, and in times of bewilderment, I am your sure guide. Trust in me. You long for a message that tugs at your heart. I need to have a conversation with you about what you have in there, the things you hold as secrets that no one else can see. But be sure, we both know. If you believe this message is not just for you, and you feel the name of somebody who should be receiving these words, then pass it on to him. Take action now. Become a soul winner. I bless all those who serve me with dedication, all those who would share these words without shame. You and I have businesses to discuss. That is why every morning I remind you of the need to rise. You must force your mind not to stray into things that will distract or swamp you with cares. First and foremost, each new day should be for giving thanks to your family for being a part of your life, for time still existing, for having a soul that longs to be restored. I love you much, and I have been merciful for eternity. I have not punished you according to your iniquities, neither have I forsaken you because of your offenses of the past. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not bear false witness, and thou shalt not always cast aspersions on another for betrayal. There are so many that we could consider, no one more vital than another. Each sin has its own serious repercussions. Adultery and fornication can wreck your body in this life, but slander and lying, pride and prejudice also bring division. They can tear family apart. And if in your heart of hearts these words resonate and you feel the compelling of my spirit to you, then I have a job for you to seek me with double diligence, with double effort day by day, to receive my word, to hear it. Do not tarry. I am forever near you. Seeking me involves coming in faith, believing that I will respond and coming patiently to wait for the blessings that I indeed promise to give in my own time. Come into my presence and look for somebody you trust so that you may pour out your hearts to them. Your shackles will be shattered your guilt and anguish left behind. From this day, henceforth, nothing shall stand between the blessings and the future of well-being and harmony that I have set forth for you. You have confirmed your love to me. Someone in your life also longs for these words, share them. 
I love you with all the depths of my heart. Good morning. Thank you for making these words true, for they soothe you. Listen to them again, letter by letter, and you will feel me right next to you, caressing your heart and comforting your unresting soul. You are never alone, and as long as you are with me, harm shall not come upon you. Close your eyes, be still. Shed no more tears lest you run out of breath. Each quiver, every sob, said then so much of what was amiss by those crying tears. Yet I my voice soothes, and the storm within is quieted. My mantle wipes your tears away, and folds you in peace. Now my time to leave is not yet. Stay a while yet. I wish that from that place, your soul exit strengthened, with no fear to go out into the world, with the greatest of certainties walking through valleys of shadows and on dry deserts. Feel caressed, protected at every moment, both day and night by my eternal love embrace. Believe you, believe in me. My Holy Spirit caresses you with love and takes away the danger. Sense it, touch it, take it. My spirit will fill you with zeal, flood your mind with divine peace, fill your lips with laughter, endow fresh visions unto you, and gift you with those dreams that will soon come to pass. Immerse yourself in my word. Come and hear daily, open your Bible, and nourish your spirit with its wisdom. Do not listen to those who astonish you with big revelations that seem to let you live under the power of false predictions or who make you fear for your will with threats. If at one moment the doubt overcomes you, my Holy Spirit will again be with you to comfort you at any time, and He will make you open your eyes and listen with your ears, and you will hear it is the voice of your Heavenly Father who guards you, and that no enemy can prevail against Him. Speak it, repeat. My heavenly Father is with me. No foe is going to overcome me. Watch your tongue. Don't speak badly about anyone. Don't bring gossip or lies. Don't injure anyone who is loyal to you. Nor hide your truths and parables from those who confide in you. If you have failed in this respect, appear before my face. I pardon your shortcomings. Cleanse your soul. Approach me in supplication morning after morning. My heart aches to relieve your spirit of pain and sorrow. I sacrificed myself on the cross and was resurrected so you may be liberated from all grief and regret. You are a human being, and in this world, your body, your soul, and your mind can get tired. Even my most followers, who lived life well, tensed and did wrong, they repented the wrong in humility returned to this altar of forgiveness, got up, and faced the day unbowed. Come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to me now if you are weary, if you believe you have faltered, if your words have exceeded their bounds, if you have wounded a loved one thoughtlessly, or if you find yourself ensnared by a decremental physical or mental habit. If you truly love me, and believe that I am here to aid you, then come to me. I touch your lips, cleanse your heart, and pardon you. Return not to the same transgressions, a renewing your spirit and your resolve. You shall rise as a champion, shed the weight of guilt and sorrowful moments. If you must recollect something, reflect on the joyous times, on your past triumphs, and just like you believe and overcame before, you shall do so again with the warm embrace I give thee. Stand up to life with undaunted faith and determination. I will be with you. I love you, champ. You should have peace amidst all that is happening in your life. You should be able to march to your own beat. Remember, I stand with you, ready to salivate your faith. Everything happening now serves a purpose, even if the reasons pass you by. When all is said and done, and you begin to experience the blessings I have in store. Then you shall see why it was necessary to believe, to trust, to exercise patience, and to wait. I gave you much because you held on, and much more is coming. I know how you feel. Your heart beats inside, and you know how you can't really keep something away from it, even if you wish to. You do know that you can come to me any time, any hour. 
You may share your situation, your feelings, as I am always keyed to your emotions and your needs. And it had always been so. How can you ever believe that you do not matter to me when your life matters to me so much that I saved you and gave you a new life? You know these are rare commodities in this world, love and understanding. Yet here with me, you have all that and more. It shall sate thy thirst for peace, fill your days with my love, and warm your heart with the potent emotion born from knowing you are loved beyond measure because I love you, and that love has been unwavering, even in your moments of doubt and adversity. My love for you has never waned. I love you, love you, and shall continue to love you. Desist from placing your trust in those who betray you, from lavishing affection on those who fail to appreciate it, and from prioritizing those who have caused your tears. They are undeserving. Do not place those who have hurt you at the center of your world, no matter what happens, for you know that I shall not allow your ruin or your shame. Choose your friends and dismiss not those who would demoralize you, who would take your belief away. You shall not be caught in this difficult time always. I will come at the right moment to free you. I feel that your spirit is tired, that sometimes the trials shake your faith, but resist. Stay strong. Soon I will confirm your steps on the way you have to walk, the way that will take you to my blessings. I do understand, of course, that waiting isn't easy. Sometimes it seems so drawn out, full of only ifs to get discouraged with. But I implore you to continue. If anything, the circumstances you find yourself in this moment are the fire that tempers your stubborn inner strength and nobody will rob you of the blessings that will come soon. Of the gifts I give you now, you have said you love me. There is another person in your life who would also love to hear these words. Share them. I love you with all my heart's deeps. Good morning. I am thankful to you for hearing these words because they make you peaceful. Just listen again, letter by letter. You will feel me right here beside you, caressing your heart, calming your worried soul, my dear. Deep in your heart know that I make the first call. Throw it in willingly. Acknowledge me and do me the service I deserve as your God, Lord, and King, for I will allow no others before me. Dost thou allow another to take the place rightfully theirs on my throne? That my dear may be reason for your strife as of late. Those feelings so deep within, the ones you cannot explain, let me explain your inner turmoil. It leaves a certain void in your heart, and that void will become immense if you keep distanced from my love. This is why you feel melancholic, why you wake in the night with tears staining your cheeks. You're desirous of love, looking in all the wrong places. Know this, no one else in the compound world is going to love you like I do. Come to me, for I'll offer you peace, love and rest in what you seek. What do you wait for? Would you prefer to continue moving through your life, giving yourself, in your sickness, time and time again, to turn back to me with tears, and then, having you in my embrace, because my love rises above all your unsuccess and all your bad choices, but you do not have to wait for suffering to come close to you before you reach out for my embrace. You can come to me now. I will hold you tenderly, making you feel my love. Even today I am standing to help you. For even before you speak a call for help, my ears attentively heard you long before your mouth opened to say your supplications. But remember, I love you, and I desire to save you from the challenges you go through. Of importance to bring to your attention is your bold stand in the midst of adversity. I encourage you to not give up believing to keep trusting that you have a real, faithful, and mighty God on your side. Please keep away from those who mock you, who speak words that kill your joy. They are not they, friends, but rather people who betrayed faith and envied your destination. They know that you are deeply loved and blessed, although unable to accept it. Do not waste your time in convincing them or begging for their approval. I will clear your path of those who harm you, and bring in your life those who truly love you. So, throw away despair. Entertain no worry in your thought. 
Do not give those peace robbers any room to squat down in your soul. Let nothing negative find an entrance in your spirit. Shield your mind with a helmet of faith, your heart with a breastplate of righteousness, and two-edged sword in your hands with my holy word. Prepare for a battle in which victory shall be yours. You want it knocked down, but if you fall, trip, or something, I will help you it right back up. Wager the bell. Do not let your future be the slave of anxiety. Be ready to fight with all your might against despair and fear. Assure me that you believe in me and that you are ready to win. I will bless your house, heal your body, soothe your soul, emotions, and family problems. You are going to see with your eyes that I am supernatural. Dearest, pass on this inspiration to a soul in need and let my presence bring them comfort through you. Listen carefully. I love you, and I want you to believe this with simplicity and sincerity. And I also want you to come to me every morning, feeding yourself on my word. Let your faith be lit up, and let that flame consume all fears that are still blocking the way forward. You cannot enter your promised land if you still fear the giants, the false ones, which terrorize you with lies. If you do not dare to take a step of faith and lay all your abilities, struggles, and failures into my hands, you cannot reap the fruits of victory. You do not need to waste your time doubting all the blessings I am ready to shower on you in this stage of your life. Remember, upon that cross, your enemies were put to shame and I bore the punishment for all your sins. Your debt hath been paid, there are no more burdens for you to bear. Now you sit beside me in the supernatural realm, and heavenly oil and honey I have already blessed you with. Be it known unto you. You are not a feeble, insignificant being, born to fail, resigned to a life marred by emotions that rob your right to succeed. I speak of real victory, truth to liberty from debts, healed finances, forgiveness and peace at home. I am talking about wisdom and prudence in your soul and mind, with supernatural peace that permits you to move on. Why go on and on depending on what other people tell you? I command you today to no longer be a slave to negative, envious people who look down on you and look for opportunities to snatch away what I want to give to you. Believe in me and my word. Avoid those people who wish evil to you, for it is in my presence that you will find victory, and in my presence you will get triumph. I will give you the strength, joy, and peace each morning, and I am only waiting to whisper in your ear tender words of love and affection, filling you with great strength and happiness. I am blessing your life and your home. Trust, receive, and love me more each day. Come, my child, for today is a new day, a day in which great blessings await you. Never forget that I am your shepherd, and that you shall not want. I am the one providing for you. All that is lacking in your life comes forth. I am the healer. In my love I wrap you up, and I heal you. I am your shield. I shall, yes, be your wings to hide you. Under the shadow of my wing you will find safety. My words are truth, my promises are sure. Everything that I have told you shall come to pass because I am God, and I am not a liar. I will do what I promised. He'll walk with you, hand in hand, on the path I chose for you. In all seasons and in every circumstance, I am with you. Whatever hopeless situation you are in, even those things which you may think are impossible for a miracle to occur, Commit them to me with all your heart. Trust in me without wavering. Never stop thrusting your way upon me. Make me the first in your projects. I will always be with you, helping you. I will reveal myself only to those who believe in me in truth and in spirit, not fearing to give up their souls, carry my word, and serve my life for this message and one another. This is the potent message I am sowing in you now. Pay attention to where you are hearing it and store the day and the hour in your heart. Stand up and look far out to the horizon, as far as you can see. I am going to use your life to bring my glory to those places far away and to foreign ground, to which you will hear languages you don't know the words. But I am going to touch you, 
and my Holy Spirit is going to manifest through your family and you. At this moment, a spiritual conversion is taking place, and there all the way through the valleys of dark shadows, I have held your hand. Do not be afraid, for I am with you regardless of whatever battles your eyes are looking at and whatever storms you are facing at this moment. Just trust my written word. For this year, at all times, you will be blessed, prospered, recognized, and respected. Even when you feel the worst, unworthy, undeserving of such blessings, if you act, fight, and don't falter in faith toward the one who gave his life to win your victory, cling to me. Cast aside condemnation thoughts and receive my love and forgiveness. I have chosen you to be a blessing to your family. Take out of your mind any idea of defeat, for this is the hour of triumph and upliftment unto planes beyond your wildest dream. Leave the old field of battle and move on into a new phase of triumph, of rebirth. That's why I make a change in your life. A new story starts for you. Allow me to lead you down a new path, then, and release many blessings and wisdom. I give unto you my peace and love that at peace may be your soul and mine. Child, spread my light by sharing this video with someone who needs a touch of my love and strength. Amen.